Roly Romero case. Any new news? Any updates? Y'all gonna have to let me know because I haven't heard anything. But let's talk about it. Push the weight in your fix. Flex the lavish one in the six. Hey, with the runner boy, you niggas no question. Yo. You ain't one of motherfucker high stepping. Hey, hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. Uh, 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 I mean, they uh, uh, walk uh, uh, drink blood, things out for more. Motherfucker change like a hoe. Uh, I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. You know, I can't talk about this fight right here without wondering what happened to this young man. Now, listen. I know Roley can be a bit of an eyesore to watch in the ring, an earsore to listen to. But right is right and wrong is wrong. When I first heard of this case, the first thing I was said, the first thing I said was, if he's guilty, take care of him as far as the extent of the law is concerned the fullest extent if he's guilty of what these women are alleging if he's guilty if he's guilty if he's guilty the issue the issue is we don't know if he's guilty. Has he been arrested? Y'all gonna have to bring me up to speed. Cause I haven't heard anything. We're already about two months in, about. And um, again, Roley has gotten on a lot of people's nerves by way of his behavior. He's trying to market himself. I get it. You know, he's on there. He's on Instagram clowning and, you know, talking reckless about Devin and Bill Haney. And, you know, um, and then you look at his fighting style. Like, nah, he don't compare to Tank and uh, Devin. But what were we saying? Somebody get in the ring and take care of this guy. And we thought we had it. He, he got the Tank fight. And then these allegations came up and everyone was like, oh, my God. So a woman gets on Twitter and says, hey, he did this to me. You don't want to undermine any woman that says that you got to entertain it. And like clockwork. She comes out and says something and here comes a assembly line of other women, about seven of them to be exact. Eight in total. Me, too. No comment, right? All he did say was it wasn't true. Now, we can you can assume or, or like just try and put together what may have happened. I, I, you know, I said, you know, maybe he was in the club and he's not really a recognizable face depending on where you're at. Unless you know boxing, but you know, maybe he was in the club showing off his phone saying, look, I'm part of the money team. You know who Floyd Mayweather is. Well, this is me and him in the gym. I'm a fighter. You know, a little clout. I'm not Floyd, but I'm with the team. That kind of thing. Maybe that got him a lot of play. Then I, I read somewhere that allegedly one of the girls he, you know, had a situation with, he knew for a a, a, a little while so they're trying to you know, like you know bridge these gaps and saying this guy has a, a a pattern of doing things like this but here's my question by now shouldn't he have been arrested 
I know he's more than likely been questioned, but if there's no arrest by now, now he can get arrested today for all I know. I don't know. Maybe he was locked up and released. Y'all let me know. I was just disgusted with the thing. And I said, you know, when something big happens, it'll come out and I'll talk about it. But nothing's happened that I've seen. Now, if I missed something, let me know in the comment section if I missed it. I'm not perfect. But I don't think he's been locked up. I don't think he has a date where he has to answer to these allegations in front of a judge and a jury. And he's facing jail time. I haven't seen or heard anything. By now, it shouldn't take this long to build a case. They come get you for questioning. But they come get you, get you with those braces, that cold steel to put on your wrist, when they have enough evidence to take things further. And that hasn't happened. Now, they could still be working on it. All right, we got enough evidence for this woman. Next, we get, we're trying to build enough evidence for this woman. This might take a year or two. It might. It might. You know, just because we haven't heard anything doesn't mean that they're, not, they're still not working. I'm just saying I find it strange that this news was enough for, to take him off of a boxing card, but not enough to come lock him up. There wasn't no, no evidence. And plus, the situation was old. Not to undermine, we all saw what they did to Bill Cosby. And I'm not under, if he's guilty, I'm not undermining the victims. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm watching how the law moves. And in this atmosphere, to be honest, I have no faith in it. I have no faith in it. Look at the atmosphere of boxing. Look at it. He was yanked off of a card over this. And he hasn't even been arrested. These are allegations. Tank got how many open cases? And that's what Roley said. And I said, oh, yeah, he do. He's still allowed to make a payday. Sergey Kovalev beats up Becky, kicks the dog. No one said deport him because, you know, he's, he's a foreigner. No one said deport him. Not in our country. You don't do that to our women, especially our women. Beat up Becky. Gave her nerve damage and everything. All of this is documented. He was arrested. He was arrested. Can't find a mugshot on the internet, but he was arrested. And how's he awarded? Payday. He got payday. I know that with Canelo. That's how you award him. Stop me when I'm lying. Now, am I saying Roley beats Tank? No. I've clowned Roly because he got on social media clowning. So when you do something silly and I feel like responding to it because you're the athlete. You're the athlete. And you do something silly that I deem silly, I talk about it because you're the athlete. Whether I think it's funny or I think it's unbecoming, I'll talk about it because you're the athlete. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And there's something wrong with this. Now, it could be a year or two down the road before we get to the bottom of it. But in the meantime, how come he can't stay on that card and get his payday with, with Tank Davis? Why was he yanked from the damn card, man? Why? One open case. These are allegations. He hasn't been arrested. Tank got open cases. But he's also the draw. Remove him, bring in Cruz. I want something special to happen when he fights Cruz. I want an old ish situation. I'm not saying I want Tank to lose. I want it to be made interesting because everyone's picking Cruz to get knocked across the ring in a few rounds, maybe five rounds tops. But I want it interesting. I thought the Roley fight was going to be interesting. It was going to be fun to watch. 
And there's always that chance. Everyone's saying, oh, Cruz is going to get his head knocked off. Oh, Roley would have got his head knocked off. And then I have to remind you. Carter Mayorga, we know who he is because of why. What did he do? He beat the man who beat Shane Mosley twice at the time when Shane Mosley, many considered at that time, was, if I, if I have the timeline correct, many considered number one pound for pound in the world around that time. Well, if he wasn't, he was in the conversation. And Vernon Forrest seemingly came out of nowhere. If you didn't know boxing, you knew who he was, though, if you, if you knew boxing. But he seemingly, to the casual eye, came out of nowhere and battered Shane Mosley convincingly two fights the showcase fight on hbo was supposed to be against ricardo mayoga an unknown man and that was supposed to be a showcase fight for him to show off his skill and eventually knock him out well go to youtube and see how that worked out first i had to fight the man twice lost to the man twice and now we got to know ricardo mayoga wild swinging and smoking cigarettes after the fight wild swinging reminds you of roley doesn't it now, I'm not saying that that was going to happen. I'm saying there's that chance. This is boxing. How many of y'all thought that Buster Douglas was going to beat Mike Tyson in Japan? That was supposed to be easy money, wasn't it? Oh, well, Mike fired his corner. Mike was getting knocked down as far as Mike, Mike, Mike. It was Mike's fault. Mike is a professional. He should have prepared. So when you don't take a fighter seriously, you make him dangerous. And every fighter that I've spoken to that known Buster Douglas, they said, look, Buster lost his mother and he was going through something crazy and mentally i don't think anybody could be buster that night oh but the long count blah 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 mike lost he got knocked out but i'm saying is no one saw it coming and what i'm also saying is that roley might have been out of an opportunity to potentially shock the world and it's not fair over something that's probably a lie probably a lie he hasn't been arrested yet. If he has, let me know. Maybe I miss, maybe I missed it. Maybe he was arrested and released or for bail. I don't know. Because it went away. It went away. There's no updates. He was on uh, uh, his Instagram live. Eating. Getting out of shape. His opportunity may have been snatched from him due to eight lies. And the money team just saying, F it. We can't have this. But Tank got open cases. It's not right, man. In my opinion, it's not right. If they jam this kid up over a lie, if they look at this evidence and say, oh, look, okay, look, look, I know y'all making these allegations, but we don't have enough to put braces on him and even go to court what y'all are saying on twitter and everything we took all these statements it's not enough and he still might be guilty he may have done it i'm just saying it's not enough it might it might let's just let's just say it's not enough now what what does he do next he's jammed up for the next two years with this potentially what does he do next what's next man what's next is that right? Think about what I'm saying. Men. TMT. He's accusing TMT from hanging for hanging him out the dry. I don't know enough. But with that being said, I said before I said it again, I hope he's innocent. I hope this is a lie. I hope this is an assembly line of women trying to get some money because he'll be innocent. I hope, well, let me be clear. I hope it's a, all a lie. I hope they're just trying to get money and I hope they get no money. But in the meantime, I hope he stays in shape and focuses on his career. This is not the time to clown. Get your career on track. Stay in the gym now. Go see a therapist if need be. In this fight right here, with the atmosphere being what it is, I hope I get an exciting fight. I hope we get an old snap moment. I hope it's a lot more competitive than we're pegging it out to be.
man, I don't even know what else to say about this, but y'all let me know what's going on. Because I, I, I got nothing. I haven't heard anything. It's been a couple of months now. Come on. Get it together, man. Bronx on deck. Move!